Hey guys, Darcy here, and today we're going to talk about creating groups and how you can use them to edit in Luna. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're in Luna and we're going to set up a group with these couple of hi-hats here. Now, scenarios where you want to use these groups is going to be when we have uh, either, you know, some harmonies, so, some multiple vocal layers, uh, some drums that were recorded, you know, as a drum set. And we need to make edit selections uh, and edit choices that are unanimous across all of them. Okay, so let's let's what we're gonna do is select both these tracks and to create the group we're gonna go command G. That'll bring up a new drawer. We can name it hats and we can make selections as to what is going to be grouped. For right now, we'll leave it as is because we're only talking about editing, but we can also do mixing, inserts, and sends. Okay, so we click OK. And now we can see that both these tracks are still selected. And if I were to click away and click back, they would both be selected again. But there might be times where you want to toggle this off. So if you go Command Shift G, it'll toggle off the actual grouping. But then I can go Command Shift G again, and it toggles it back on. So when I select and deselect things, you know, it will either, depending on which way I've toggled it, you know, allow me to do everything as a group or as individually when you need it. Okay, so let's look at a couple examples of things that we could do and use cases as to why we want to do this. Okay, let's say we select something and hit F, boom, now we're doing fades across multiple tracks. Imagine this was 64 tracks, how much time saving this would be. We could maybe, for instance, select something, delete a section, great. We can also do something like, uh, let's go and hit our automation, and we're going to go to volume, and you can see we have some automation already applied, and we can click this and drag, and boom, we're applying automation to both of these tracks at the same time, okay? If we go back to our main view, what's something else we could do? Well, what if we wanted to do warp changes at the same time? So we're gonna go Control, Command, Right, and now we bring up our warp, and now we can make warp selections and changes across multiple tracks. So I think you get the idea here, right? Essentially, we're able to do multiple things at the same time across multiple tracks really easily uh, and that's just going to save you time hopefully you found this helpful if you did leave me a comment shoot me a like whatever and let me know what would be beneficial to you to learn in luna next have yourselves a good one peace